I'm Doug Ellis, past master of Corinthian Lodge and uh, uh, geeky historian. Um, I wanted to share this, our ballot box that we've been using here for time immemorial. This doesn't really look like the typical ballot box. It's got the, the balls and cubes on the top. It's got a little spindle in the center that's been hollowed out for, uh, for dropping it into the box. We were looking at it after at a rehearsal once and we're trying to figure out, you know, it's just so perfect. I mean, these carvings are just exquisite. So we're, we're looking for some kind of a maker's mark and we, we took the ballot box out and we looked inside and if you can see that, it says it was made in, uh, by brother William Chapin in December 12th, 1896, um, which is fascinating. So I've done some research on brother Cha Chaplin uh, and he was born in 1840. He served in the Civil War uh, with many other men from Acton. He was actually lived in Acton. He worked at the prison as a master carpenter and a teacher of, uh, of carpentry, very fine carpentry at that. And uh, in 1923, I found a newspaper article that at, at, at age 83, he had been saving his Civil War pension money for years and years and years and donated virtually all of it to the perpetual care of the Civil War graves in, uh, I believe it's Woodlawn Cemetery in Acton. Um, to this day, those graves are very well marked and very well maintained. And he also paid to have a monument erected to the honor of his, of his war, uh, war colleagues. So, you know, it's not, we were talking a little bit earlier about this. The things you find are just glimpses into the past. It's, it's the brothers that, uh, that really are remarkable. And it just gives us a little bit of a glimpse into the wonderful, wonderful men that have come before us. Thanks.